that window right there is going to go where my garage is. That's a double swing out. Okay, remember the word double swing out. The outside of my bathroom, guys, that's going to get uh, stuccoed. And uh, the patio here, we're going to give it one more coat. All this stuff got to happen before it gets cold. That's all expanding foam in there because I had hornets going in there. So the next thing we have to do now is we have to dress it up with caulking. We'll spray it brown. The whole back of this house is getting sprayed brown. Then we're going to hang our gutter and put a heating element in it. And so once we're done with that, this side will be sprayed flat white. And this side here will be sprayed flat white. Got our living room ceiling done. That just has to be painted flat white. And uh, the walls are going to get tan. We touch the dining room ceiling up. Boy, look at all that. That's all tobacco film on there, guys. All that's got to be washed. And then in here is getting sprayed flat, uh, flat brown and a flat white ceiling. Remember that one window? That small double hung I showed you guys? It's going to go in there. The only thing I need to do is these two blocks here are going to come out. Before I hammer these out, I got to make a box for the main. Out of wood, we're going to make a, a wooden box to go over there. Then we're going to get our hammer drill and take this and this out. And then we'll dress the casing up and we'll put our window in here. Let me show you guys the uh, front of the house. Now rem remember that uh, double swing out window? That's going right in the middle there. And uh, I still got to give that another coat up there. Then the trim's got to get hit. And then we have to paint our gutters. I think I'm going to paint the gutters brown too. But uh, I sprayed all this. It took me two probably maybe six hours to spray this guys you see there's still some some areas there I gotta get next year we're gonna make a wall there we're gonna put a single car garage door an entrance door and a window in place of that I've been busy huh guys I did I sprayed the front of that house there between Thursday and Friday, I, ha I have a uh, I have an airless electric sprayer. This thing is it, it's bad. It's bad, brother. To hell with spray. I gotta I gotta do a video on that when uh, when I spray with that again. I'm gonna let you guys see what this thing is. It's it's a hell of an electric sprayer. <clears throat> and uh, what the the trick with the electric sprayers is you have to water down your paint a little bit. What I did is, um, I think I put a third, a third of water. That's what I did. That, that's the way, I, that, that's my preference. You might not want to put a third of water in, but that's what I did. And it just, man, it sprays it like no one's business. So there's still some places I gotta to touch up. I showed you guys now before winter, before it gets cold, I wanna put in that double swing out window in the center there. You know, because that'll bring more light in the house and it'll give it more curb appeal when I go to sell the house. Next year, those that double car garage, we're doing a wall, we're gonna do a um, a wall there, a single car garage door and an entrance door and a window. I have a, a the, the my master bedroom has another one of those double swing outs. It's not a it's not an egress window. That's got to go. That window I'm going to put where the garage is. And I got to get an egress an egress window for my master bedroom. 
and uh, that rear gutter, that rear gutter is almost done. That's all. We're, uh, that's just about ready to uh, for a gutter. Uh, Thursday now, I'm renting a pickup truck so I can buy my gutter and uh, my metal mesh for the outside of that bathroom. I'm buying ten sheets of metal mesh, and because it, that's it's a little cheaper than plywood. Wood's real expensive right now, guys. You know, so it's actually cheaper for me to stucco the outside of that thing rather than frame it out with 2x4s and plywood. You know, 2x4s and plywood, I'm looking at maybe seven or eight, nine hundred bucks. With uh, mesh and stuccoing it, I'm looking at about two, two fifty. And uh, let me see what else. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, I went to the Harley Davidson motorcycle show. Okay, I went there. My camera memory was full. I couldn't take any videos. Um, there was like three or four bikes when I got there. I couldn't wait around much longer, so I left. So I didn't. I didn't take any any like I couldn't take any videos of that. But I, I, I walked around a little bit with my dog, and then we left. So, um, now I took my iPhone with me. I cannot figure out for the life of me how the hell to clear out the memory of that goddamn thing. So, I, I, right now, I don't have the patience for that, you know. I, I'm not going to deal with that, right, right? I don't have patience for that son of a bitch right now. And, um, you know, guys, as for the big dog, man, I'd love to paint, like, some kind of Grim Reaper scene on there, man. I'd like to airbrush something like that on there. I'm, part of me, you know what part of me wants to do? Part of me wants to paint the fenders and the tank metallic purple and have the silver frame. I've seen some bikes like that. They're, they're actually pretty nice because I love purple. Uh, the purple might go with the silver. It might. But I don't know. You know, I mean, I don't know, guys. I just, I don't have time, man. Time, on this graveyard shift I'm on, time's a big factor, and I just don't have much of it right now. So, uh, there you go. So I have glory days coming up. I have my vacation coming up. Naturally, we're going to take a lot of snapshots and a lot of videos while we're on vacation. And uh, I might take the motorcycle with me. I might not. I haven't really decided on that yet. And uh, so we'll see. But either way, I'm going to take a lot of videos while I'm down there. <clears throat> All right. Take it easy.